Hi all, this is Sri again. This time I am going to take up the problem of car fueling. And let's see, let's jump right on to the car uh, fueling problem definition. So the problem here is that we need to go from point A to point B uh, in a car and our car can ho only hold the fuel that is uh, sufficient to go for only 3 miles. So now because we have got 6 miles to go we need to refuel our car and we need to do that as less number of times as possible because we don't like stopping again and again and let's if you see here there are three gas stations available at uh, second mile third mile and the fourth mile and we need to uh, come up with a strategy to, uh, to to make the number of stops as less as possible let's see if we what happens if we choose a station at the second mile so if we get refuel here we'll be able to go three more miles but because um, we need to go one more mile here let's get the car refuel again at the station number four if we are going to start the journey uh, do you think it's optimal no because uh, let's see what if uh, what happens if we choose station number three if we choose station three the car is going till station 3 until the tank is empty and then it gets refueled it's gonna go for three more miles and then go to destination right so that's going to be the opt most optimal way of uh, refueling our car and we reached our destination yay congratulations now let's look at another problem where we need to go seven miles and we have six gas stations available so what do you think would be a good strategy here? Um, so what I think uh, is that let's go until uh, we have the fuel in our car and get it refueled at gas station number 3 and then go till we get all out of the gas again until gas station number 6 and then get the car refueled there. Do you think that's the most optimal solution? Yes it is cool let's look at another problem where we have only three stations and we've got a problem here the problem is that after gas station number two there is no other gas station within the range of three miles and our car cannot go any further than three miles without fuel right so this is impossible yep that's impossible that's right now what about this so by now you should have uh, got an idea about the strategy here our strategy is to go to the farthest reachable gas station and get our car refueled there so with three miles of gas we can go till this is the farthest reachable gas station and then this one then this one then this one because 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 plus 3 is 11 Let's start our journey and we are rolling with our fuel pretty well right now and we have reached our destination within minimum with the minimum number of refills required. We still have some fuel left in our tank but that's why we're gonna use it for the next journey or something like that. Now what about here? Let's follow the same strategy and see if it works out for us. I'm gonna get it fuel at every three miles okay because we do not have a station at three miles we are bound to get refuel at station two and the same at station five so that is the story of car fueling with the uh, minimum number of uh, gas stations so this is another example where we need to go for 950 kilometers and we can hold fuel up to only 400 kilometers so if you get refuel at the first station followed by random station stations this is one of the ways of refueling the car but is it optimal <laughs> no it is not so this is the optimal way of refueling a car with the minimum number of refills as two so the strategy here again for any greedy problem is to make a greedy choice and reduce it to a smaller problem and then iterate. What is the greedy choice that we are making? 
the greatest greedy choice that you are making is going to the farthest available gas station getting the car refueled there and from there the problem gets reduced to a problem which is of the same type that we solved just before so and we are gonna repeat until we are gonna go to the destination that is the generic strategy and these are the three uh, strategies that we can come up with so if you can see the first uh, strategy won't work because if we um, fill up if you choose the closest gas station we are gonna stop at uh, every gas station or more number of gas stations than um, the other strategy if we go until there is no fuel god knows who, who is gonna help us when we ran out of when we run out of fuel right so so the optimal way is to refill at the farthest reachable gas station available so the our strategy goes like this start at the point a go refill at the farthest reachable gas station g make g the new a this is where the problem gets reduced to a smaller problem and then from new a we are going to read the problem as a, as just like before and we are going to repeat it again until we get to the destination so that is about minimum number of refuels so there is another problem about minimum cost let's say we have gas stations at these uh, stops for every 200 kilometers on our way and these are the prices at each gas station so what can be the better or what can be the strategy that we can employ to find out the minimum the number of stops required to get minimum price for other for the fuel <coughs> so the strategy is going to be like this starting from the starting point we need to see if there is any station that is offering us a smaller price within our within the mileage within the 400 kilometers range so we see that there is a station with a smaller price so we are going to fuel our car only to reach till that point so it's going to be 200 kilometers multiplied by the current price which is phi this is the fuel price that we are going to pay at this station now at this station we need to make a choice again so that choice is going to be check if there is a station within 400 kilometers range that is offering a lower price if not fuel the car and with, with to the full tank at this station because that is the lowest price we are going to get for the next 400 kilometers so for this whole 400 kilometers range it's going to be two dollars and after we reach 400 kilometers we need to see if there is a smaller price available of course there is so we are going to only fill our tank until that point which is 200 kilometers with five dollars and the rest of the journey which is 150 kilometers is going to cost us only one dollar right per kilometer so this is the lowest price that we are going to make which is two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars which is a little huge but that is the best that we can do so the greedy choice is to see if there is a smaller price available within the next 400 kilometers range and fill fill up to fill up the whole tank if there is otherwise fill the tank till the next available gas station which is which is lower price so i that is my presentation about car fueling hope you liked it thank you so much